Hey there, Chad Bonja here for High University Libraries. Simply Map is an excellent database for getting marketing and demographic data down to the very local level. This video is going to show you how to look for a variable to do a mapping of counties in Ohio, then also get down and look at rankings by zip code for the same variable. A really cool way to get good in-depth market and demographic data for your criteria. So here you go. So for this example, we'll be looking at the state of Ohio. What I want to look for is a variable that has to do with uh, expenditures on uh, going to sporting events, so paying fees for admission to sporting events. Okay, so what we're going to do first is look at our variables. And if we look at consumer expenditure 2009, we could go up here and search if we wanted to, but I'm just going to do that and go under entertainment. And here is a category for fees and admissions. And I'm going to scroll down, and what I want to look at is uh, admissions to sporting events, household average. Okay, if you click on the, the uh, double click on the description there, it'll give you where some of the data comes from and that sort of thing. So all I want to do is get admission to sporting events, household average, and then add selected variables. When I do that, it goes over here in my variables list there. Now what I also want to do maybe is... Um, Maybe later on down the road, I want to look at uh, not only that kind of information, but maybe some just census uh, estimates. And let's go down and maybe look at uh, things like uh, people in households. And maybe we want to look at um, uh, total population, median age, and add that. And then let's go maybe look at uh, um, uh, household income, maybe... Um, uh, median household income, that sort of thing, and we'll add those selected variables there. Okay, I'm going to close that, and what we want to look at is the state. So I'm going to do state of Ohio, and click go there. And it's going to zoom into the state of Ohio and create a nice little map for us. And if we open up the legend here, we can see that it's looking at admission to sporting events, household average 2009 by counties. And we can zoom in a little bit if we want to do, do that. And we can label geographic units so we actually have the county names. And so this kind of generates a nice little map for you. Um, you can actually go in and edit the map legend to change it to different colors. So if you're a fan of yellow or if you want to go with the uh, the Buckeye Red, I guess. You can you can do that. Uh, you can also change your, your variable points as well uh, to reflect that. And so here's a nice little map for for uh, looking at admission to sport events, household average 2009 by counties. Now let's say we want to take this down to an even more local level. We want to run a report that maybe says I want to find the top zip codes in Ohio that have uh, the top zip codes for admission to sporting events uh, in Ohio. So what we can do there is uh, go to locations. I'm going to get rid of our uh, deal here. And what we're going to do is click rank. And this will bring up a dialog box. We can say, I want to rank zip codes in a state. And we're going to choose Ohio. And we're going to use once we find it here, admissions to sporting events, household average. Okay. And then let's say so we don't get really small zip codes. Let's say we want zip codes with populations greater than a thousand. So we'll go down and do uh, number of population greater than a thousand. And we can change that to 1,000, 5,000. I want to do that. I want to do the top 25 zip codes in Ohio. And we'll view our results. And once it runs there, here is our, is our list. Now what we can do here, we can also use these data here to actually go in and select maybe all of these. Let's just do the top 10 just for sake of time there. We can add all those locations to our list. And once we do that, they occur over here. And we can go in and just look at you know, an individual um, 
zip code location, whatever that way. What I'm actually going to do is click on reports and run a report here. And we can actually add all of our locations and all of these variables over here and click on update our report. And there is that kind of information there. Now what that gives you is you could say, well, we, we use this figure here, the admission of sport events to actually screen and rank our categories. But then you can go in and get other kind of demographic data for that for that area. So you could you could make it a make it an assumption that these because you have these numbers here, here's the, the here's the averages that you could you could assume for uh, people who are more likely to buy um, a, a mission or tickets to sporting events in the state of Ohio. So you could you could go down and look at look at race down here. You could look at uh, uh, household income. You can look at a variety of factors, um, uh, educational level, attainment, do they own a computer, things like that. So you can do all kinds of different kind of variables down there. Great way to get data for, uh, for market research. Hopefully this helps clarify some of the things you can do with Simply Map. Uh, it is an awesome database. There is just, this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as what you can do with it. So be sure to look for more videos here on the business blog about how to use Simply Map to help you with your research. Take care.